Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to talk to you guys about something. What I wanted to talk to you guys about is trimming briskets before you uh, before you smoke them. I've seen it seems like there's a lot of folks doing briskets nowadays or, or more as of late and I feel like I'm not saying you're doing it wrong but there's some things that you're missing some pieces you're missing so hang on and watch me get this done. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so first things first, you're gonna to want to make sure you take your brisket, obviously, out of your packing, rinse your brisket off, and then you have your whole brisket. This is the fat cap. Okay, the point is up here, and you can you can in this one you can cut you can see the the the, the line where the muscle is the delineation, and this is the flat down here. Now, when I trim my briskets, I'm gonna come in and take a good majority of this fat off of here because and I've said it before in brisket trimming videos my customers don't want to pay for fat if your customers pay for fat more power to you but in the Baltimore area where I am they won't and don't want to pay for it so your mileage may vary you can trim your briskets how you want to trim your briskets this is how I trim mine this is not a steadfast rule I come in off to the side, I get up, up under it, and I wanna leave, you know, three eighths, a quarter inch to three eighths fat on the brisket. Okay, so now I can look at this and I can see that the amount of fat that I want, again, a little less than about, or about a quarter of an inch of fat there. Now this is, this is still a lot. I could trim more, but I'm not going to. What I really want to talk to you guys about is on the underside. There's these, these bits of fat here. Now, I don't spend a whole lot of time getting up every single piece of this, but if you can get your knife up under this and where you see some of these, like this silver skin, and it is just fat basically, get it up and off if possible because a lot of it is just gonna burn. This is something that'll come, like being able to just get up under the fat, takes a sharp knife and a little bit of skill and practice. All right. Okay. So that's enough of that. Now the main thing on the underside of this brisket that you want to worry about is this piece of fat right here. This piece of fat will not render. In order to trim this piece of fat, you're gonna come in and cut the whole thing out. And unfortunately, there really isn't a good angle for me to show you how to cut this piece out, but what I will show you is once I'm done, that there's very little meat on 
this piece that I'm cutting out and it's primarily all fat. I'm gonna turn this around to make it easier for me since I'm right-handed, but I wanted to get it started and show you me cutting it. So there's, this is the piece of meat that was against the flat and this is the piece of meat that was against the point. And all of that is gonna come out because it will not render away. Then, if you really want to, or if you have a stubborn brisket, you can take your knife and go in at, at, at this angle here and get all of this out. This brisket uh, was rather superficial, but I can go in here and cut that some more of that vein out because it will not render away. And I'm gonna cut this piece right here off. And that is how you do it. You can see this, this muscle here is the flat and this muscle here is the point. And this is where I will separate them. This is where I'll separate them when the brisket is done. And what are you gonna say? Make sure you side. Okay. Give a thumbs up. All right, so let's try this again. It's subscribe. Su make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give a thumbs up. What you like. Bye. <laughs> All right, so that was my daughter. She always wants to help whenever I, uh, she catches me filming the video. So just like she said, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you like what you saw, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up down below. And uh, leave a comment, if you, again, if you have any other questions. And I'll see you next time.